Hey, how's it going everyone? Long time no see. This video probably is not gonna get posted, but I just need to talk with something. And this something is my camera, I guess. This is time when COVID-19 is going around the world for a couple of months. So, before all this started, it seemed like everything was going kind of up, up. I found another job before, right before all this started. I got to work about three, four shifts. Then the, the bar closed and the bar I've been working for uh, more than a year now, it closed at the end of March. So I'm quite jobless, quite jobless. I actually don't know, don't know if, if I'm gonna get through this. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. I know I'm, I will get through this, but the question is how and how long it will take to get back on my feet. I, after I finished school, soon after I finished school, I took a pretty large loan. I, I had biggest depression I have I had ever had. And I took a large loan, pretty big loan, and I spent all of the money on partying. Okay, I bought a phone and paid one month of the rent and that those are the only useful things where I spend the money but otherwise I just parted the money away and I'm paying my consequences with that with finding this other job I hoped that everything would calm down I, I would start to get back on my feet I, I could get a fresh start pretty soon and pay pay off my loan and just start living again. It's gonna be economically hard on all of us, everyone, even the people that still have jobs and still work. I have a couple of friends I know that have lost their jobs and they're fine now. They're fine now, but. They still need to find a new job and that's not so easy not so, so easy even before this it wasn't that easy everyone needed some uh, some workers but no one ever answered yeah actually this new bar I started working at I before that I applied uh, for a job in a different bar it uh, and it turned out uh, uh, that bar had the same owner as the bar I got the job and the previous bar didn't respond to my messages it's never been easy for me to find a job and now that I found one and everything started to go up Everything was started to get in place. This shit happens. The virus spreads. And oh yeah, we we were all laughing here in Latvia at the, the start. And we didn't take it too seriously. We don't have it that bad. I have tried to find other jobs during this period. Just work while, while this all sorts out. But the opportunity hasn't come, and that's all, that's all. Even though the opportunity hasn't come to find another job to work, I still have to pay rent, so I don't know. It is what it is, and I hope the opportunity arrives or we can slowly get back to normal and I can 
get back to working. I miss the place. It's like my second home. I love that job. I would hate to lose it forever. And even though, even though it's it's such a sad and hopeless situation, it's not hopeless that hopeless it's just sad and depressing and i hope this sorts out i'm hopeful i'm hopeful that we're gonna find a way to live we're gonna find a way to get through this i know i'm pretty late in this emotional talking about virus and all that it affects but I feel hopeful a little bit a little bit I have hope I have hope that it's not gonna be as bad as I think it is gonna be bad I wish I could just get back to working before I was depressed, I didn't have enough to do. Now, I have nothing to do. Here's the thing about the people. We're strong. We can do, get through anything. But we're as well so fragile. We can be broken down so easily. And, and we can die so easily some kind of stupid virus comes and kills so many people and I know it's probably a little bit blown out but it has affected everyone's life it's just hard on all of us and I just wanted to get a little bit off something off my chest and and this actually helps you too you're my psychiatrist psychiatrist yeah psychiatrist I like talking to the camera my camera is my psychiatrist that listens and it never talks back and it doesn't give negative feedback I don't give a shit what other people say, but this this might be stupid. Sitting in my bed, talking to my phone at the middle of night. It's 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 I don't know what time it is. It's it's almost three a.m. It's almost three a.m. and I'm talking to my freaking phone. Nobody's listening. Nobody's listening now. Maybe you're watching this video, but nobody's listening at this moment. And it helps to talk. So, I don't know. Just find some way to get your emotions down out. Write them on the paper. Do a vlog. Don't post it anywhere. Just, just, just record yourself talking, talking with yourself. Just talk with yourself. I know I almost had a breakdown when I still had a job, had work, when I still was working, because I was worried about. I was already worried what will happen if I lose the job, but I know that now is the moment I have nothing, I have, I have no work, I can't work, and after talking, after just speaking to myself, I feel less worried, and we just need to help each other. We just have to be there for each other. 
and it's all going to be okay. It's, it's going to be all right. So, if you watch this, thank you. Thank you for watching. And goodbye. Blech.